All right, fellas, welcome back. Old Two Stroker YouTube channel. Today we're gonna do something y'all been bugging me about for like, I don't know, since summer started. We're gonna get this old cab or fired up and get it out of the garage so we get some work to do. So first things first, let's try to get it started. Now we already started it once this year, so I'm not too worried about it running away. Uh, and I tested the emergency shutdown when I did start it the last time. So I think we're safe to just go ahead and fire it up. So let's do that. Boys, we gotta go out for a rib, dude. Let's take it down the driveway. I think this barrel stay here. It might be a good place for you guys. Not for nothing. What can you see right here? Oh hell yeah, that ain't too bad. Hopefully you stay there, alright? Stay put, okay guys? Gotta do something about that clutch brake. Got your flaps in stock fellas these are not truck size these were the incorrect order that i got uh these are 20 by 24 that is not what you want for a semi truck these are the right ones for a semi truck they got the holes already in them super nice poly flaps they just came in the mail uh 
these are 24 by 30 that's that's the correct truck size in stock fellas get them while they're hot All right, fellas, we're out here doing these these friggin' mounts, and uh, I'm a total bobo. I had the camera on fast forward this entire side, but that's okay. All we did was take them apart. So when you get your mounts from me, the rubbers, whatever you want to call them, they're going to come wrapped up like this. There's four in there, enough to do an entire truck. And you're going to have two that look identical to this. Now you can see the recessed fastener so that the heads won't stick out, okay? And then you have this side, and these only go one way, they're different side to side. So what's going on here is this mount is cut out in order to fit the cab lock. And so my mounts are exact reproductions of originals. They are the correct factory durometer and thickness so this should be very painless for those of you that have to do it now the original factory hardware on this side i don't know what they did they the, this isn't i don't think this was original somebody must have done this the original factory hardware is a screw i'll show you on the other side i had a real hard time locating the exact screw because it's got kind of like a flat head to it so it doesn't it doesn't uh rub So what I got was a button head Allen, and that's what I recommend you guys do. I got stainless because I'm mildly anal retentive, but it doesn't matter. They weren't stainless from the factory. So how these go on is pretty simple. You just put in your fastener. In my case, it's a friggin' button head Allen. Screw holes are a little tight. It's good. Tight is right, right is tight. You know what I'm saying? There we go. They should just go right in, no drama. Just like that. Rubber is just super tight, so you got to kind of work it to get it through the rubber, which is. It's a good thing. That's how you want it, right? Ain't nobody like it loosey-goosey. So, guys, don't get me wrong. I don't care if you buy these from me. I'm not trying to make this an advertisement. <laughs> I did these strictly for my own personal use. And it just didn't make financial sense to make only one set. And they were insanely expensive to have re recreated. So, like everything else, I went to the extremes. Oh my god, you are a total bobo. So, in typical Wayno fashion, I just realized I only bought enough hardware to do one side of the truck. That's pretty smart, isn't it? Looks like we're going back to the store. So here's the cool part about these mounts. Let me show you, get you off this tripod here. Look how far that Allen head is recessed. That shit ain't gonna hit the cab. Know what I'm saying? So then the back side gets a regular washer. A lock washer and a nut. You can, now I got my own hardware. I suppose you could get a uh, locking, like nylock nuts. I don't like to use them with stainless hardware because the stainless is very prone to galling. So 
I'm like, just not into that. Wow, I really fucked this up. So not only did I not get enough hardware for the other side, I legit only got enough washers for, for one side of one. I don't know what I was thinking. Wow, that's pretty friggin' impressive, fellas. Usually, you pay extra to be as stupid as me. All right, I'm gonna go to the store and get some more shit. I will, uh, I'll be back. All right, back with hardware. Of course, they didn't have the correct size, so we got had to get longer and we'll cut them down. It's oh, frustrating. Worst part is I got this stuff probably two weeks ago too, and they didn't order reorder any hardware since then. I'm thinking now's the time to delete this crossover line. Because it looks like shit. fellers back on the other side I cut all them bolts down <sighs> junk let's see with a shim looking thing here we're not gonna put it on we're gonna put the, let the cab down see how it goes loud and I mean if the cabs I don't know if they were trying to maybe shift the cab or something I'm not real sure what the deal is with that maybe we'll put it on there's not one over there nice kind of surprised there we didn't have any Failures. Huh. What the hell is with this shim looking thing? I ain't never seen nothing like it. Oh, there we go. I knew there was one. There's always one. Hmm. Unapproved. Unapproved. It's in there. I'm trying to shock it, but it's not really cooperating with me. Just looking at an air chisel at the store going, I'll never need that. <sighs> I see we're going to need a bunch of these tonight. Holy shit, the piece is still in there. Wow. 
Wow. It's at least moving now. Is this friggin' thing small enough? I think so. You know, bitch. I love corrosion. It's my favorite. I really don't know what the deal is with this plate. Whether or not I should reuse it or not. Never seen one before. It looks like it's made pretty well, so I think I'm going to put it back in. Bingo, baby, no more mud flaps. Yeah, so if you look, this was just cut down mud flap. That's all these old ones were, whoever made that. We don't got that no more, pal fellas. We got real deal Holyfield. There you go. See the indents? That's from the cab aluminum not being supported on rubber. It's rubbing on the screw heads. Can't have that. That's how you bust up your cab. They need to be cushioned a little bit. <laughs> well, that look was that cool? It's in there, nice. So here's what we got now. Good there. What is it setting on? So here, look at her. She's right. Just that's just perfect. That is what you want. Nice rubber, beautiful mounted. I think the gab is kind of settled. We'll call it from the mounts beating the shit out of it for so long. Cause it's not setting down on them over here. There's a gap. I don't know if you guys can tell. There's a gap there. Don't know why. I don't see anything crazy. It looks all right from the front. Just to see if the throttle is gonna stick again. Stick the throttle first of all. Yeah, see if it's buried here. Make a little modification to this here throttle linkage. The issue I'm having is it needs to be bent. In my opinion. So this lever right here where the wrench is, I believe that needs to be bent. 
towards the radiator a little bit. So we're going to mend it. Oh boy, that was tight. But I don't want to... I don't really want to do it with this linkage on there. I'm oh, not sure how I'm going to bend it yet, so... Almost tempted to I'm curious if I can get this. I wonder if it'll go through the other side. Might do that. what I was not trying to do. That's not good. Well, I guess it can go in the vise now. All right, so I got it out of the vise. See if we can't get it back on here. That was not good. Here, I thought this was going to be a short video. Yes! Alright. Now, will this go? Can we do it like this? Probably not. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that solves the whole friggin' thing right there. I think that's gonna do it, boys. That's gonna be that's gonna be our fix right there. Not have to bend nothing. So I'll tell you what happened. We were leaving. Uh, we went to leave Boston Spa last year, me and James. And um, went to fire this thing up. And it took off, dude. Went for the moon. Well, turns out it only did that because it, it, was on, it ran on the governor, you know, of course. It wasn't, it wasn't running away, but... Still, first start of the day, you'd rather it didn't do any of that. But, yeah, it... Beautiful. Well, at least that's not hanging up. We solved that. Yeah, it's got like a mile in between it now. That's probably the way it should have been. I wonder if somebody took it off and adjusted it once or something. Why is this thing so friggin' bound up? I think what we'll do is we'll take it for a ride quick. See if maybe it settles out. All right, fellas, let's go for a ride. See if maybe it settles out. Worst case, it doesn't.
hell to the air, fellas. Cabs all settled out. So we're good there. Look at her. I had to, uh, and I knew that had to be, oh no, you know what it is? It's the way we're friggin' setting right here in this spot. When I got down the end, it was, it's gotta, there's, the ground's gotta be, whoa. No shit, I'm surprised it moves that much. That's pretty wild. So, I guess it depends on where it's setting. That lock ought to be latched though. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, she's latched. But yeah, when I got to the end of the driveway, it was set in dead flush with the other one, and the end of the driveway is totally level. So we got to be just sitting in a weird. Yeah, if you look, it's twisted. That's what it is. Chassis just in a little bit of a bind, setting right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I'm glad I didn't panic and like pull the whole truck apart, because uh, I was right about there. So next. What we're going to do is we have to figure out what's going on with the power divider in this thing. Thanks for watching. I know a ton of you guys have asked for some cab over content. I'm sorry. This is all you get right now. I just, I'm friggin' swamped. I'm very excited to have the thing out and like out of the shed, running, driving again, ready for some action. We are going to start working on it. This is next in the lineup. I know you guys just watched me bring home the other truck. Well, I don't know when that video will air, but anyway. That's why I've been so busy, because there's another truck here. So, this one, this one, what I'm, well, I guess what I'm trying to say is this truck is the priority. The, the cab over here is our priority on this channel. This is my favorite truck that I own. I just had to make a couple sacrifices in order to get ready to where I can work on it. So I apologize for the delay. We're back to cab over life. Uh, there's one more thing we gotta do with the green peat. We gotta do a wheel seal because I blew one up on our epic road trip. Other than that, I think that thing's ready to go. We'll see y'all July 17th for the, uh, shit, what show is that? ATCA Washington County Fairground show. Um, I think that's the Uncle Sam chapter, which is my local chapter. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Thanks for watching. Uh, we got stickers, magnets still on the website, oldtwostroker.com. We got black mode flaps in. There's two sets of white flaps left, like right here on the cab over. Uh, and we have some smaller black flaps that are 20 by 24 great if you have like a trailer or a pickup and you don't want to buy a, a large set and cut them down because I don't want to do that either so that'll work I've got some great news uh, I did just strike a deal for some new merch uh, and it's going to be something that no one no other YouTuber has I guarantee that I mean obviously because it's my logo but like this is something some guys have done some other design some other variations on this but there's nothing to this quality level out there on the market i'm going to be able to come in i believe at be able to match everyone else's prices and have double the product you guys are going to be pumped i'm freaking pumped i've always wanted to be able to do this and we can finally do it so no, it's not shirts. Shirts are coming. I got a call. I'm very busy, but I'll try to do that. I realize that I am probably the problem in this deal, but whatever. Anyway, there is stuff up there. If you check it periodically, everyone asks in the comments, where do I find your merch? Where do I find your merch? Old2stroker.com. The link is in every video. I'll have to start putting it in the video descriptions because uh, there's I, like... It's the easiest website in the world to remember. Every Everyone, no need for anybody to be asking me that. It should be simple. So we're going to try to make it a little simple for you. I'll put it in every video description, and that way you all know where to find me. My All my, my mailing address and everything. If you want to send me stuff, you want to send me some fan mail, dude, I'd love to open it on camera. That would be badass. Send me whatever you want. Probably, you know, not dildos, but 
you know, cool truck shit, send it. Uh, email, the email address is on the website. Like I said, mailing address is on the website. All that's there, guys. Enjoy. We'll see you. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.